Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Holistic Health Radio. I'm your host, Sarah Liz King. I'm an exercise physiologist and health coach, empowering you to find your healthy balance with food, fitness, and your body. Through my one-to-one and group coaching programs, both myself and my team help women regain their periods, find food freedom, and have a healthier relationship with exercise, all while gaining body confidence. Now, this is my first podcast back in a little while. I have had a pretty serious hiatus after having had this podcast going for five full years. And it kind of is a where do I begin moment. It feels like I wanted to let myself have a few weeks off, which turned into a few months off. And now here we are getting straight back into it. So I guess I deserve, or you deserve, a little bit of an explanation about where I've been and what's been happening and what you can expect moving forward with the podcast again. Holistic Health Radio has been a passion project of mine from the very beginning, wanting to connect with individuals and provide an amazing resource for anyone on a recovery journey or looking to have a healthier relationship with food or exercise or find better body image for themselves. Last year, I kind of fell into a big spell of burnout and it took me a really long time to recover. And I think just being open and honest about that experience and and kind of how I've navigated it to come back to this moment now is probably really helpful for anyone out there on a recovery journey because essentially recovery can be really, really tiring and there are going to be moments where you feel really burnt out by that process as well. So I guess the first things are, well, what kind of things to look out for when you're noticing burnout? And burnout isn't just kind of physical fatigue, it's also emotional and and cognitive as well. So the first things that I started to notice within myself are just feeling so overwhelmed by what was previously a very easy and normal workload for me. So I predominantly got burnt out through work, um, which happens to the best of us. But, you know, prior in stages of recovery, I've also been burnt out by, you know, recovery. So that's something that I'm sure a lot of you can relate to also. So it's just finding every moment, every day, a real struggle and not having the energy to do things that previously felt so easy. So getting up out of bed and going for my morning routine and morning walk you know, getting through all my emails and, you know, my client load felt increasingly more difficult to sustain. And I didn't care any less about the clients that I was working with, but I found it so much harder to maintain my enthusiasm. I think in addition to that, I wasn't sleeping very well. I felt really stressed all the time. And my, I guess, pizzazz and ambition to kind of keep growing and evolving and helping more individuals really took a back seat. And I think for anyone that runs a small business, it is really hard to keep the momentum going. And particularly if you work for yourself or you only have a very small group, you can feel like you're constantly spinning the same wheels and not making a real exponential stride forward. So I really found myself kind of in that moment of going, oh, what's the point of doing all this? And I hadn't had that kind of experience for a really long time. So when I noticed all these things, I really pinpointed like, I think, I think I'm burnt out. I think I'm starting to feel really depressed. I'm starting to feel a little bit hopeless and helpless about the situation that I'm in. And I don't want to be in this and I don't want it to get worse as well. I was very, I mean, I think I am lucky that I have the ability to kind of be really self-aware when things aren't going well and to turn those things around. So the first thing I did was get support, get help. Seeking support from a psychologist was so fundamental for me. And I'm someone that always, always, always advocates for others, you know, getting evidence-based support and um, advice and assistance on whatever journey they are. And I'm no different. So having those sessions with a psychologist was so useful to really just get back to basics. And I think if you are burnt out, getting back to basics is so important. And for me, that meant looking at taking a step back from social media, taking a step back from my business, 
looking at giving myself a different kind of cognitive challenge, you know, going out and working for someone else again, which actually felt so refreshing because I got to see new people and learn new things and get out of my house as much as running an online business is so much fun. You often don't, you know, see that many people in a day and it's not really good for your social well-being either. So, you know, I made that change at the beginning of this year and a lot of you saw that I was working for someone else um, and that was so refreshing and that really kind of helped me get back to feeling more like myself. But I think the other thing that I did, which many of you noticed, which is why I was MIA, was I stopped posting. I stopped creating content and it wasn't because I didn't want to, it was because I just didn't have the capacity my body had reached this stage where I had used all of my resources. I didn't have anything else left to give and I really needed to work on replenishing those for myself. So what are some of the things I did to do that? And maybe you'll find these useful too if you are feeling burnt out. Take a step back from the things that really don't matter. I wasn't going to die if I lost followers on Instagram or didn't post for a few weeks or a few months. And it did feel hard because I really missed the community and I knew that a lot of the things I shared were really helpful for individuals, but I needed to help myself first. Um, and so to do that, you know, I decided to take a step back and maybe I posted sporadically, but I never put pressure on myself to do it. And it allowed me to invest more time, energy and effort into spending time with my dog, spending time with my friends and family, sleeping more, getting back to basis of you know, nailing my morning routine and going for a walk and taking him out and going to our favorite view of the ocean. And I think that is what very slowly and steadily brought me back to, okay, I think I'm ready to go back. I think I'm ready to go back to the podcast. I think I'm ready to go back to being a little bit more online as a presence because it could have been really, really easy to just kind of go, I'm burnt out. I don't want to do this. And that's the end. But I think I came back to, well, what was the reason why I started this podcast and also my page and my business in the first place? And it's because I'm so passionate about helping other individuals on their journey towards recovery, whether that be recovery from disordered eating and eating disorder, exercise addiction, over-exercise or hypothalamic amenorrhea. You know, I personally went through those experiences and I knew how isolating and draining they could be to try to go it alone and that not everybody has the privilege of having the ability to have, you know, a coach or a community or join a program or see multiple health professionals. But this resource, this podcast provided the ability to give what could be, you know, some amazing advice and resources from incredible health professionals even in small snippets to the big wider world, you know, over 200 episodes later, it's still going gangbusters. So what can you expect moving forward? I guess this podcast is to say that I am back and it is nice to be back, but the pressure that I'm putting on myself to be consistent and, and nail everything every single week can be on the ball with all things content creation I've taken my foot off the accelerator a little bit. I am trying to adopt the done is better than perfect mentality because I know that that perfectionism definitely led to a little bit of burnout as well. But moving forward, you can expect the same quality information and compassion and love and care in each episode as I have put in to all of the previous ones. And I wanna say, if you have been a subscriber since day one, Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for still being here and for everyone that has been so patient with me in getting back on top of the podcast bandwagon. I appreciate you. Um, this hasn't been easy to show up again after such a long break, but I know that once I get the ball rolling and start hearing from you and start sharing again, that it will be so much easier to keep going. So Look out for some fresh new episodes in the coming weeks. I hope you find them really helpful. I really enjoyed making them and I can't wait to bring you some more incredible episodes over the next few weeks and the next few months. So if you are watching this on YouTube, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, say hi, be sure to subscribe. If you're listening to this on your favorite podcasting platform, 
feel free to send me a DM, share it. Let me know that you're excited to have me back as much as I'm excited to be back. And of course, as I end every episode, be sure to look after yourselves and I will be back next week with a fresh new episode you can wrap your ears and your eyes around.